Hey, what happened to the plan? I thought you were the one who said to keep a low profile and don't let anyone see our skill level. Hey you, over here. What's your name? Hey, you're a rookie, aren't you? How old are you, anyway? All right. That's enough resting up, I think. The other teams will be calling it a day soon. And that means it's time to strike. You know the plan. We split up and fan out. Whatever happens, whether we make contact with another team or not, we meet up back here in this spot. Got it? All right, stop hiding and come out. Did you just raise your fist to me? Does that mean you want to fight? <sighs> Go away. Even if I were to steal a scroll from you cowardly wimps, everybody would just laugh at me for it. <sighs> they scurry off like cockroaches. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's all right. But still, we'd better go find him. I never thought that you and I would have to face each other. Before we do this, a word of advice. Withdraw now. You're too kind and gentle. You seek harmony and avoid conflict. You allow yourself to be easily swayed by others. Admit it. You have no confidence. You feel inferior to everyone else here. People can't change no matter how hard they try. They can't run away from their true nature. A failure will always be a failure. People are judged by their true nature. It is the way of the world. That is why we have an elite and why there are outcasts. I understand these things because I see the world clearly. Despite your brave words, what you're really thinking is that you'd like to run. Run as far away from here as you can. Just one moment ago, in the slightest of movements, your gaze drifted toward the upper left corner of the room. And then, almost immediately after, your gaze drifted to the lower right. It was a mere flicker of the eyes, but to me it revealed all of your mental and physical suffering. You're seeing your old self, and wondering if your life has prepared you for this moment. You're picturing the outcome of the battle. You see yourself losing. If you don't forfeit the match, you know what will happen. So that's it, huh? That's all there is to the main branch's power? I'm completely out of your league, and that won't change. This is what separates the elite from the failures. Forfeit this match. You just don't get it, do you? Your strikes were ineffective from the very start. You're finished. What do you think you're doing? If you continue to fight, you're going to die. Why is she doing this? Give up the tough guy act. I can tell you're barely standing. And you've cursed and blamed yourself for being weak. But look, people can't change the way they are. That's just how it is. Just accept defeat and you won't have to suffer anymore. The head family gets special treatment, huh? I have two pieces of advice for you. First of all, stop that stupid cheering of yours. It's disgraceful. And second, once a failure, always a failure. You can't change that. I wouldn't waste your time glaring at me when you really should be taking care of her. You got anything to say to me? He has the look. He's calmer now, more sure of himself. <laughs> so much the better for me. I can't wait to see the look of despair on your face when you learn that your foolish vow is impossible to keep. Do you understand now? You have no way of beating me. No matter. You can't hide for long. These eyes of mine show me many things. One thing they've shown me. People's limitations are set, fixed, and unchangeable. Only a fool wastes his time trying to become something he can never be. Each person is given his own path to follow, and he must follow it, obediently, to the end. I told you it was pointless. Did you really think you'd won? This is the end for you. You're lucky to still be breathing. Well, must be frustrating to realize how utterly hopeless it all was, this little dream of yours. You thought you could succeed through hard work alone. That's only an illusion. It can't be. Stop this madness. You'll only get more of the same. I have nothing against you personally. I don't know what you mean. Never mind that. It doesn't concern you.
I can assure you of one thing. It's not simply for decoration. Your destiny was decided the moment I was chosen as your opponent. You will never understand. <laughs> I've heard those words before. You impudent little brat. Why waste my breath explaining it to you? We are all given a destiny at birth, and it's pointless to fight against it. <laughs> you don't know what it's like to be branded with a mark that sets you apart. A mark that can never be wiped away! That's right. But if you think you're the one who can prove me wrong, well, be my guest. Proctor, this has gone on long enough. I suggest you stop the match. If he's foolish enough to continue to fight, I will not be responsible for what happens to him. Why fight a hopeless battle trying to defy your destiny? Sorry, but this is reality. You're a failure. I... can't move! What do you want with me? Of course. It's only excuses made for the convenience of the head family. Father, I can't be sure if a person's destiny is like a cloud floating on a fixed current that it can't escape. Or if people are able to ride on whatever breeze they choose. I don't know. I don't completely understand it yet. And maybe the destination is the same no matter what you choose. Just when you choose one course, along comes someone who's picked a different path. One that's devoted to living life to its fullest. There's real strength to be found in that love of life. I finally understand that because of this latest battle. Now, Father, I have only one goal. To become stronger so I won't lose to anyone again. That's what I feel my goal is now. Father, I wish you could see these birds flying. They're finding their freedom, too.